I just loved everything about him. And, and the beautiful thing was he loved me. <laughs> How did he show it? Well, he said, said to someone, not me, he said, and the second hand, the, you know, compliments are the best. He said, how did Lloyd Arnton get to be so good? <laughs> I remember Lance from many years ago when I, when I was a young guy. That was a long time ago. <laughs> Back in the 50s. Before you were the box. 50 odd years ago. <laughs> I used to, uh, you know, go to the, the concerts at uh, George Auditorium, the uh, Vancouver Jazz Society used to put concerts on every second Sunday. And it was great for, for young people that couldn't get into a club. In those days you had to be 21 to go anywhere where there was alcohol being served. But the, these things were, were put on by a jazz society formed by a guy named Bob Smith. And every second Sunday they'd, they'd have these concerts and they, they weren't allowed to charge, but they suggested that you contribute 50 cents. So, you know, even with my paper route money or whatever, I, I could go and take my girlfriend, cost me a buck. And I had, I had to buy her a cheeseburger afterwards, else she wouldn't go. They didn't want to hear that, that jazz stuff. But Lance was, uh, I looked up to the guy, was he was my hero. I, I thought, wow, this guy's great. God, I just, uh, you know, I, I, I hope one day I could play anything close to that. And uh, and then my clarinet teacher, who was the uh, conductor of the Air Force Reserve Band, suggested I join that band, which I did, and Lance Harrison was actually in that band. So I got to be in the same band with him. 50-piece band. Well, that's okay. I was still playing third clarinet. In the same band with Lance, and I kind of got to know him, and uh, he was a great guy. and loved Lance Harrison. And... Uh, we, we're going to play two now. That you mentioned Ain't Gonna Give Nobody. Yeah. The first time I heard this tune was with, with, uh, from Lance Harrison's band way back in the 50s. And I thought, wow, what a neat tune. I never thought I'd be up, up there playing it and actually played it with Lance Harrison once. <laughs> so I made it. I made it. I'm still making 80 bucks. <laughs> Does, does it really matter? I play with Lance Harrison. <laughs> Are you taking us in now? If you like. Bring us in. Oh, it's like we're in a give, B-flat Give Donnie a, a, a tempo there. Come on, Donnie. Ain't going to give me a little bit. Come on, Glenn. 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 Come on,
Ronnie Blodgett. Okay. Yeah. And um, first time I met Lance, actually, I was working at the Vancouver Hot Jazz Club, and um, Lance was following the band I was in, the Dixon on Express, and uh, and he said to Nori, "I need a piano player." And uh, can I borrow yours because we're following you? And I mean, I was so brand new to everything that the thought of playing piano in Lance Harrison's band was just, I was just terror struck, right? Anyway, I did it. I got through it. And afterwards, he went up to Nori and he said he liked, he liked his piano for He said, I like your piano for And it was just like, gave me the greatest thrill of my life. He taught you. Oh, um, just to have fun. Yeah, yeah. Have fun. I played many a time with them up when they played in the, what was the name of the little place up in uh, in Horseshoe Bay that they played Trollers, Trollers. that they played for years. And I was usually the sub that he called in when Carr Snedden couldn't do it. And uh, he would just start a tune, never bother telling anybody what tempo, he just start a tune and says, don't worry, he says, just, just keep playing, it'll all work out fine. So that was, that taught me my attitude to yeah. the music and I was glad to know. Yeah.